Now, before moving further, we would invite you to actually test your digital bad habit to see if it's dangerous, to see if it's an addiction. This will help you to gain self-awareness, assess your addiction levels compared to others, and to get personalized insights from addiction experts. This test is completely free and anonymous. You will receive the results by email. It's really easy to do. You can do it in four minutes. At the end, you will get a score out of 100 and you will know what's going well and what's not, what could be dangerous and what to watch out for. You will also get, most importantly, insights from digital addition experts on what to do and how you can improve things. So let's go ahead and install Cold Turkey. So to make things easier, we've created a post where you will find all the links that we're talking about in this tutorial with all the resources. Just click on Donald Code Turkey and you see it redirects you directly to the page. You have the installer here, click on it. We're going to process the installation. So once it's installed, it should launch automatically. You can see this window. Otherwise, if it doesn't, you have the icon on your desktop that should be here. The first step we're going to do without it, Culture Key is not going to be able to work. We are going to install extension for each browser. So if you click on the link, they will open page. And here you simply click on install blocker add-on. The browser is going to ask you, so you want to continue to install installation run in private window you want to take that one that's super important otherwise it may not work correctly so you're going to see okay when it's done we're going to close firefox you can see now it's done let's do it for chrome you need to do it for every browser otherwise they're not going to work properly here you want to go down and you want to take a low in incognito mode okay let's close it let's close it now, if you really want to master cold turkey and eliminate toxic habits from your life, check out our free step-by-step -step course. From start to finish, break digital habits and protect yourself from temptations. Focus on what matters and finally achieve your goals. All right, so now that the software is installed properly with all the extension installed, it's going to be able to monitor, which means recording statistics, but also to block certain websites, which is what we want, and some apps. Here you can see the interface, which is really basic, but so you have an overview of your active blocks here. So there is none, which is normal so far. Here you will have all the blocks that you're going to use, that you're going to be able to create and to modify. Here you have the statistics, uh, whether it's about the statistic of things that will be blocked. Here you have the website statistic that you visited. And here you have the application statistics. Now we're going to see a little bit about the settings quickly. I'm not going to go into much details because that's not really what's the most interesting, but it's important. Otherwise it may not correctly work and uh, you're going to be disappointed. So let's start with the preferences here. There is not much to do. I like to change the style of the application, but it's really up to you. And we're gonna move to notifications here. By default, they are all on. This is something that can be annoying if you have a lot of blocks that trigger many times in the day. Culture Key is going to spam you when they start, when they end, when you have allowance, when you don't have allowance. So the best way is to let that on for now, but anytime you can come back here and deactivate them. Um, you can have allowance, which means you allow yourself one or two minutes of those annoying websites, of those uh, entertaining websites, for example. And uh, when this timing is over, we'll receive a notification for it. Let's go into blocking, which is most likely the most important one. Frozen Turkey is a mode that we're going to talk a bit later. Now, this option is about what it does when a block starts and you have a not load window that is still open. So, for example, you're on YouTube and a block that prevents you to go on YouTube starts. Uh, what does it do? Does it close the window or does it minimize it, which means it brings it down? It's up to you. I'm going to let it on force closed because the it a little bit more powerful you want to keep block and supported browser when websites are blocked if you let the post for cause available you'll be able to break and block for money basically that's that's what it does all right that's pretty much it 
Now we're gonna go into statistics. So to work properly, code truck needs those two ones to be on. Now the thing is that if you have a statistic in incognito mode, you should be aware that it's gonna record what you're doing. However, your data stay on your computer, they don't move anywhere else, and the code truck company don't know anything about what you're doing on your computer, right? It's just for your personal statistics. So allow one strictness is about counting the minimize or inactive tabs. So for example, let's say here I'm on Wikipedia, you can see on the left there is the YouTube tab. Uh, well, if you have the settings allow one strictness active, it's going to count the time that YouTube is here, even if you are not watching it. So if you have another one of, let's say, 10 minutes of YouTube per day, this is going to count even if you're not watching YouTube, even if you're not actively on YouTube. But this may prevent cheating because, for example, if I put two windows like this and I have YouTube on my left, I can watch YouTube and Kolchuk is not going to count time on YouTube because he considered that just the active page, which is here, Wikipedia, is counting. Now I'm going to keep it on for this video. The password section needs the upgrade to Pro. So we're going to come back later on it on the Pro section of this uh, course. For now, we're just going to end up on the settings. So we hope by now you are having a clean and efficient cool trick installation. Of course, as you may guess, a simple software is not enough to quit digital bad habits. That's why we've created the Digital Purge, an online course to give you the tools you need to understand your triggers and to leverage psychology so you can finally hack any digital bad habit you want to get rid of. Rather than relying on willpower and suffering by trying to resist temptations, we teach you how to identify and destroy them so you can feel in peace. To give you an extra motivation, we drop down in the description a really nice early coupon so you can get a promotion for the number one course that breaks any digital addiction.